This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps required to change the fabric on an upholstered chair. Since these chairs are being used for an outdoor covered porch area, we will use a noiseless silk film in between the foam and the decorative fabric. This silk film will help keep water from saturating the foam when they get wet. Angela from the Sayrite Loft is going to show us how it's done. Let's get started. The seat bottom was unscrewed from the chair already, so all we have to do is replace the old fabric with a decorative fabric from Sayrite.com. That will spice up our decor. In most cases, it's recommended that the old fabric cover be removed prior to installing the new fabric. In doing this, we can inspect the foam and get rid of any fabric that may have mold, mildew, or stains that may damage our new fabric. This chair has been reupholstered twice. We have yet another fabric cover that will need to be removed. We are also using a tack and staple remover available from Sayrite to easily remove the staples, but you can also use an awl or a screwdriver to accomplish this task. We will not remove all the staples, but only those that are holding the fabric down and those that stand proud of the backer board. You can opt to replace the foam with an antimicrobial polyurethane foam from Sayrite, or you can simply plump up the old foam using a thin layer of polyurethane foam with fabric backing available from Sayrite. We carry this thin foam in a quarter inch, half inch, and three quarter inch thickness. Sometimes the old foam needs a little extra padding, so adding this polyurethane foam with fabric backing can help, or you could use a polyester batting instead. This foam has a side that is foam and a side that is fabric, a spun bonded polyester fabric. The foam side is facing up against the old seat bottom foam. The fabric side will be facing up or right side out of the cushion. This fabric side is slightly water resistant, so it too will add to the water resistant characteristics of the chair. Angela is stapling the scrim foam, polyurethane foam with fabric backing, to the backer board using an electric stapler, the Dualfast E IC3118 sold by Sayrite. She trims off the excess and then staples the sides to the chair's backer board, being sure the foam is pulled taut over the chair. If you don't have a professional stapler like this, you could use a heavy duty hand stapler like the Aero brand. At the corners, she will tuck the foam back upon itself, creating a triangular tuck, and pull it around to the back side of the board and staple it down. The goal? Make sure the corners look good. Trimming the foam at the corner on the bottom side of the chair may be required. Along the back side of the cushion, a cutout or notch at the corner has been made for the backrest. Here the process is the same. Because this foam has a fabric backing, we do not need to worry about the staple pulling through the foam. The fabric backing prevents that from happening. When you are done, trim away any excess foam. Next, a noiseless silk film will be added and stapled in place. This will help keep the foam dry if spills happen or rain soaks through our decorative fabric. If polyurethane foam becomes wet, it can take weeks to dry out. So we want to prevent that from happening, especially for our chairs which are used outdoors on a covered porch. Always cut the silk film oversized by about 6 to 12 inches. This silk film is center folded, so when it's unfolded, it will equal 54 inches wide. Simply staple in place on the underside, being sure that it's fairly flat on the top side. Do not over pull or puncture the film, as that will thwart the purpose of the silk film. Cut away excess. This silk film covering may be delicate, but once the fabric cover is placed over the top, it typically fares well and stops liquid from penetrating the foam. When upholstering chairs, it's usual to have more than one. Here we have already covered one earlier, and we will use it to line up our fabric's pattern. We want each chair to look the same, so matching up the stripes in our project is important. 
Be sure to have enough extra fabric to wrap around the seat and lay over the backer board by at least two inches to be safe. Stapling the fabric to the backer board is not too difficult. Techniques vary by upholster. Angela prefers to staple the forward edge with four to eight staples, then moves to the rear and repeats the process. Before stapling along the rear side, she will ensure the pattern is straight across. Be sure to apply even tension on the fabric so as to avoid hard spots, places where the fabric is pulled too tight and stapled down. We will have plenty of fabric wrapping around the backer board. Notice how Angela avoids hard spots. She will place her arm across the fabric after it has been tensioned well. By not using her fingers to pull on the fabric as she staples, but instead her arm, the tension across the length, is even. If you do not have enough fabric to do this, just use the flat of your hand as you tension and staple. It is best to avoid using only a few fingers as you pull the fabric taut and staple. Let's show what would happen if Angela used only her fingers to pull the fabric tight. Notice those hard spots? That's why she typically will use her arm or the flat of her hand. Next, we will concentrate on the corners. Here we will pull the corners back, creating a pleat and stapling it down. If at the corner there is too much bulk fabric, you can cut some away and then pleat and staple. The objective is to make the corner look as pleasing as possible, then secure it. Here at this corner, she will trim away the excess, which often makes this job much easier. We are going to skip ahead, but we want you to be sure to apply plenty of staples after everything is secure. We recommend staples be placed about one inch apart or less to secure the fabric well. Then trim away any excess fabric. On the underside we will secure a cushion underlining fabric or what upholsters call a dust cover. This cushion underlining fabric is a vinyl type fabric which has an open hole structure to allow breathability. This gives a nice finished look and keeps the excess fabric from ever hanging down, which can look unsightly. Simply staple around the perimeter and then trim away excess. Our upholster job for this outdoor dining chair is done. Thanks, Angela. Coming up next is the materials list and tools that were used to complete this project. We used a Sunbrella upholstery fabric or furniture fabric. It is considered to be the best outdoor fabric for UV protection, stain resistance, and water repellency. You will find hundreds of fabric options at www.zayarite.com. For more free videos like this, be sure to check out the Sayerite website or subscribe to the Sayerite YouTube channel. It's your loyal patronage to Sayerite that makes these free videos available. Thanks for your loyal support. I'm Eric Grant and from all of us here at Sayerite, thanks for watching.